Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and I have a really fun card for you today. It features the Time Together Bundle. This is the feature bundle on my blog this week, so if you're looking for more ideas, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back, I've got four total projects using this bundle. Um, another thing that I'm using that I have got to point out is this paper back here. The other cards that I made with this bundle were all pinks and purples and feminine cards, but I thought, let's do something a little more masculine. Um, we have a new fall uh, winter catalog coming out on September 6th, and this is one of the packs of paper from that catalog. It's called All About Autumn, and you can see on one side it's got like photographic art images. I, I am in love with this paper. And then on the other side, you've got metallics. These are brilliant. They're beautiful for fall, but also for masculine cards. I just think you could use them in so many ways. And for this card, there are several different patterns. You could use this one. Um, there are two of these um, copper color papers, two different patterns. Um, here's one, and then here's the other. So um, gorgeous paper coming out September 6th. Make sure that you look for it. It's a six by six stack, which is so easy. All right, let's make our focal point first before we get to the paper. Um, I have ahead of time cut out two things. Well, I've cut out several things actually. For the frame, I have cut out a basic white um, country corners shade. These are the country corners dies, the largest one. Then I took the largest and the second largest and cut out a frame from um, crumb cake, okay? So we have that. Um, on the back of the, or in the center of our main basic white piece, I'm gonna take some lemon lolly and a blending brush, a, a small blending brush, and I'm gonna run it on my paper here first because I don't want it too dark. And then I'm just gonna start from the center and work my way out. I don't want it to be real powerful. I just kind of want there to be a glow there in the middle. My problem is always I do too much. So I'm gonna stop. It, to me, I feel like I need, you know, a little bit more over here, but if I add more ink, then it's just gonna overpower it, so I'm gonna make myself stop. Now we're gonna do our stamping. We're gonna stamp our hourglass in Memento Black. And um, this stamp set has some really fun images too for the, the little sand, draining sand in the hourglass. Um, one for the top is a heart, um, but we're going to use the other one, which is just like, you know, the sand kind of dripping down. And I am using pecan pie. This is one of our new colors, and I love it. All right, then we'll use the bottom sand image right here, like that. And then there's one more that is like the drip the sand coming down like that, all right? And I'm just gonna take my uh, Pecan Pie Light Stampin' Blend and color in these little wood base pieces, all right? Nothing fancy, no shading or anything like that. I'm just gonna color them in. Okay, now let's do our banner. And this banner I have used on like every project I've done with this um, stamp set because it's a great, it's a fun little sentiment. So I stamped the banner first in Memento. And then we'll go back to our pecan pie and we'll stamp it here. Now, one thing I wanna point out to you and you'll, if you go back and watch my other videos, you'll see my mistake thinking like, okay, why is it not fitting? Did I not put it on my blog right? Well, it's because I just need to flip that over. So if you struggle with that, just flip it. Sometimes when you put these photopolymer, long skinny photopolymers on your blocks, they can get misshapen. So make sure you lay it down on the desk, let it take its shape, and then pick it up with your block like that so that you don't have a misshapen uh, piece. Okay, let's bring over cut and emboss machine. We'll get these cut out. Um, one thing for this set in particular I have felt like I needed was my post-it tape. 
Um, the long and skinny banner specifically likes to jump around. So I have some post-it tape. I'll have it linked on my blog. I use it pretty much every day in my crafting. I use it to hold down paper when I am um, inking or using a mask. I use it on my die cut die cuts. I, it just is very useful and it does not, it does not tear your paper. I think I'm going to put one here. The more I use my dies, the more kind of curved up they get. And I use my dies a lot. So sometimes I need to use a little piece of wash or um, post-it tape there. I don't like the washi tape. I find that it does tear my paper and that is very frustrating, but the post-it tape has never done that. All right, so we've got our pieces. Um, I have cut out some other things ahead of time. Let me show you those. We have a new set of dies in our annual catalog. I believe they're called the paper florist dies. And so I have cut out, instead of using the stamped flower in the, um, in the, from the set, which I used on a different card, I went ahead and cut out some flowers. I have um, a lemon lolly and these are from here. So one big one, one small one. And then two of these little sprigs, which is this piece right here. And I wanna add a little bit of texture, a little bit of interest to these. They're cut from crumb cake. I'm gonna take my crumb cake dark stamp and blend and just flick on some color. Okay, just to give it a little more something. Something, something. All right, we are ready to put this together. Now let's get our frame. And the easiest way to put this on is to use our foam adhesive strips. These are great for making a shaker card. And I considered making this a shaker, but I thought, let's just keep it simple. It's kind of a faux shaker. There's nothing to shake. <laughs> There's no uh, loose bits, but you still have that stacked frame look. All right, I'm just gonna, you just bend it around, bend it to your will. And let me grab my scissors. And you don't really have to worry about it all touching because we don't have any little pieces to shake out. Okay, and then I kind of find this satisfying, peeling off this backing. Ooh, it's kind of fun. I know, I'm a weirdo. I find, I find things fun like that. All right, put that right there, match those edges. And then we'll take our hourglass. I keep thinking of home goods. Do you guys have a home goods where you live? They always have hourglasses in the decorative section. And whenever my kids are with me, they always have to play with them. Maybe I should get one and keep it in the house for decoration. Probably would get broken pretty quickly, but, and my kids are teenagers. <laughs> Just because they're teenagers doesn't mean they're not still kids, right? All right, for this one, I'm gonna put many dimensionals. I believe I have some here. And if you have trouble with, like me, holding on to many dimensionals, use your take your pick tool. I, I just have trouble, I think it's my nails, grabbing them and peeling off the backing. And once I just started using my take your pick tool, it was so much easier. All right, so I've put them on the outside so I can just kind of straddle that guy right there. All right, now we'll take, let's use glue dots. They're less messy than glue. And I'm gonna take one of these and put it down here. And we'll take another mini glue dot and put it right here. And then we'll take our flowers. And you know, I'm looking at my sample and I bet I use two small, two of the smaller flowers, but I think a big one and a small one will work as well. We'll put one right there. And then I'm gonna use a glue dot again, because again, less messy than glue. Sometimes you gotta use glue, but sometimes you can use a glue dot. And we'll put that right there. And then we I just felt like we needed something in the center. So I've got these beautiful little glitter dots. 
and I'll put that right there. Okay, now let's go back to that beautiful paper I talked about at the beginning. I have, this is one of our new in colors, copper clay, I believe. Oh my gosh, suddenly when I said that, it sounded wrong. Um, card base, and I cut the DSP. So it's got the books in the background. Mm, the books might be a cool background too. Um, but we're gonna stick with the shimmer or the glimmer side today. Uh, four by five and a fourth. And we'll put that there. And then I'm just going to put regular uh, stamp and seal on this piece because I feel like we already have so much dimension. We don't want to make it too, too big. And there you go. I miss you every minute for every hour. I just feel like this makes a great masculine card. Um, it has a flower on it, but it still feels masculine to me. But again, it has a flower on it, so it could be not masculine. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this card. Click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, get the free PDF, check out the other Time Together projects I have, and let me know if you have any questions. I hope you guys have fun stamping. Thanks. Bye-bye.